like I got three strikes Call me, hey, call me, Joe I have been seeing Instagram inspired makeup and hair everywhere and I posted a picture on my Instagram It looks a little bit different than this and you guys were like tutorial tutorial So in order to make it look different I changed up the makeup just a little bit and made it a little bit more dark and The hair is the same so you can see how I did that. So with all that being said now, let's get started Starting off with the French braids Yes, they are French braids. No, they are not cornrows or Dutch braids. A lot of people like to do cornrows, but I'm just really not that good at it, so I like to just stick to French braids. I'm applying a leave-in conditioner into my hair, and after combing it through, I'm just splitting my hair down the middle and tying up one side. So I'm working on the left side of my face, and I'm applying my edge control just so I can make sure everything's really smooth as I'm braiding. So basically with a French braid, you want to grab hair and then put it into the middle. It's really hard to explain. I actually have another video on my channel. It's pretty old that explains how you can French braid curly hair and I think that maybe that video may be a little bit more helpful if you're still confused after this one. But as you can see, I'm just taking some hair from underneath the piece and just twisting it into the middle and then another piece pops out. So then I grab some more hair to add to it and once I comb it through with my fingers, I just add that into the middle again. learned how to French braid on my own hair away from a mirror like how I am right now and I'm not looking at the mirror it's easier for me I don't know what it is try it out it may be easier for you too instead of focusing on staring at what it looks like you just sort of feel with your hands as to where everything goes and for me it was just a lot more clear So once the braids are complete, I just tie them off with a clear elastic, and that's the look. <laughs> Onto the makeup, I am just going to apply my foundation with this buffing brush, and next it's just time for me to highlight and conceal my face. So I'm just applying this on the high points of my face and blending it out with that same brush. Next, it is time to contour and bronze up my face. I'm using this um, foundation stick, which is really cool. I've really been into cream contour lately, so I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender, and as you can see, it's actually making my foundation match my face now because before it looked a little too light. Filling in my eyebrows and I'm just using this clear eyebrow gel just to keep my hairs in place and put them in the same direction. Quickly, I'm setting underneath my eyes, only underneath my eyes, the rest of the face, I'm not setting. And I'm just going to prevent this from creasing and also to set my cream contour, I'm just using my chocolate bronzer from Too Faced and putting this all over my face. The eye makeup is probably one of the simplest eye looks I've ever done. So all you need is two colors, a medium brown and a dark brown. For the medium brown, I put that in my crease. And with the dark brown, I'm creating a small cat eye with a angled eyeliner brush and creating this on my top lash line. <laughs> Back with that dark brown, I'm just putting that on my lower lash line and smudging that underneath really quickly, lining my waterline with a black pencil, and for whatever reason I wanted to do blush next, <laughs> so I'm just using a cream blush, a pink color, and applying this on my cheeks. 
So back to the eyes, I'm actually going to finish them now. <laughs> and I'm applying these lashes, they're in the style Miami. I'm going over some of the lash glue with the dark brown just to cover that up and using mascara to blend it all. Moisturizing my lips, and the only thing left for the face is highlight. This is the Becca um, Champagne Pop, and I'm just putting this everywhere. <laughs> Lastly, for the lips, I'm using the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Court K. For whatever reason, it's coming off a little bit more berry than it really is in real life. I think it's because I had an extra light for this video but it's a lot darker in person, I promise you. But yeah, that's what I'm doing, and this is the final look. All right guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you liked, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!